Good morning, everyone. My name is Marissa Foster, and I will be giving a persuasive speech today on the need to help within the church. Um, today, my audience is um, the Cast of Friends group because I'm still working remotely, and I'm just kind of working with what I have. So, as we start um, the slideshow, um, I just want to say good morning, everyone. Um, so let's just imagine a church where every member feels valued, supported, and connected somehow. A place where the needs of each individual are met, not just spiritually, but also emotionally and socially and practically. Um, this vision can become our reality if we embrace the call to help within the church. Um, so a personal story about a member of our church um, we'll just say Jane um, lost her job a few months ago, and her family has been struggling to make ends meet. Um, despite her efforts to stay afloat, the weight of her burdens had been overwhelming. And then sadly, Jane felt too ashamed to ask for help, as most people, you know, would be. That's, you know, because it does seem embarrass embarrassing. Um, so today, I want to talk to you about the pressing need to help within our church and how we can recognize these needs um, and what we can do to implement a culture of support and assistance within our church community. Um, by the end of this speech, I hope to inspire each and every one of you to take action and make a difference in our church community. So um, these are our agenda items we're going to go over today. Um, we're going to discuss the current situation. Um, then we're going to address the needs within um, our congregation of helping within the church. Um, we're going to go over some evidence and in proof of things um, that support this statement, as well as um, we're going to visualize and then take action. Um, so first, um, the current situation that is being an issue right now. Um, is our church is blessed with a very diverse congregation, of course. But however, with diversity, um, a variety of needs um, need to be addressed. Um, things such as emotional struggles, um, health issues, financial hardships, and many, many more issues. Um, so according to the study by Pew Research Center, nearly 60% of church goers have faced significant personal crisis in um, the last couple of years. Um, and only a fraction of them have asked and received help from the church community. Um, so let's just, for instance, say a single mother. We know, we all know a single mother um, may struggle to provide for her children. The elderly who may feel isolated and lonely or the young battling mental health issues. Um, these are not just isolated cases, but are present within our very congregation, and they're a lot more common than you would, you know, probably expect. Um, when these needs go unmet, individuals may feel disconnected and unsupported and unmotivated to participate within the church. Um, so that can result in a declination of attendance and um, motivation and um, participation. So our sense of community weakens and the church's mission to be beacon a hope of love is compromised. Okay. Um, so uh, as far as addressing the needs, I propose that we implement a comprehensive support system within our church. Um, this could include helping establish a help committee, um, which I feel like they should be able to create and dedicate team responsible for identifying and addressing the needs of our members. Um, this committee would be working very closely within the church and uh, the church leadership and the congregation to ensure that no one falls through the cracks. Um, also, another really good way to address this issue um, would be to develop a resource network. Um, we could partner with local organizations or charities or provide resources resources such as clothing, food, um, job training, shelter, and mental health support. Um, another idea to um, help promote would be culture and openness. Um, if we encourage 
members to share their struggles without fear of judgment, this could really, you know, bring people a more sense of comfort. Um, and it would ha- almost help highlight the importance of others um, during, you know, this hard time um, and other daring services through church and communication. Volunteer programs um, would be another great resource that we would utilize. Organized volunteer initiatives where members can offer their skills and time to assist others. Um, this could include um, anything from home repairs, um, transportation, um, or even just being there for somebody. Um, and then let's move on to the next slide. Um, so some evidence um, based on um, helping within the church. Um, churches that have implemented similar, similar programs to this have seen significant improvement um, with their member satisfaction as well as um, engagement and participation within the congregation. So let's visualize um, the positives and negatives that this um, proposal could bring. Um, some positives would be, um, you know, just imagine our church thriving in the community where every member feels valued and supported. Um, picture, you know, that single mother receiving help and resources that she needs or the elderly finding companionship or the young overcoming their struggles with um, support groups and things like that. Um, this is a very tangible reality that we can help create for others. Um, so some of the negatives that can come with this if we do not act um, is the need of our members will go will continue to go unmet. Um, Um, and in that, um, when they do, you know, come to church where they're supposed to be worshiping, um, you know, they may still worship, but they're not getting their full, the full effect out of it. And that can leave them feeling empty and alone. And that can, you know, risk the essence of what it means to be a true Christian community. Okay, so lastly, um, so action. The way to get started to quit talk is to quit talking and begin doing by Walt Disney. Um, so for call to action, um, I urge each of you to join me in this mission to help within our church. Start by signing up. We're going to have different help committees for different sign-up sheets, volunteering your time, any personal skills, and being open to sharing and listening to others' needs. Um, after today's service, there will be a sign-up sheet um, in the lobby. I encourage you to add your name and commit to making a difference. Um, additionally, we'll be hosting a meeting next Sunday to discuss the formation of helping of the help committee and the steps that we need to take to get things going um, as quickly as possible. Um, so let us be doers. Together we can create church where everyone feels loved, supported, and valued. Thank you.